So, um, before we go off to the final act of the Jagosia, let's actually explore Showdown Town for a bit, shall we? There's lots we can do now with the scuba seat and the laser. Whoops. I find it rather amazing that um that the laser can disarm those firewalls. Well, disable them, not disarm them. All right, what do we have in this one? Mumbo. Two small jets, a grenade turret, and two Foley propellers. Okay, that's pretty good. Law broken. Discharging a firearm. Uh, excuse me. Get the fudge out of here. Hey, freaking cops. I'll kill every last one of them I have, if I have to. Get the fudge out of here. That's right, guys. I'm disobeying the law. Dude, get out of here. I don't need you in my life right now. Okay, in this crate, we have three grenade guns, four spoilers, three spotlights, and a rust bin. Alright. Oh my freaking god, would you please fudge off? Thank you. I was about to kill you. Please move. Please move. Move before you make me angry. I'm guessing this was used for the, um, the firewall. Alright, let's see. What do we have in this underwater tunnel? This is kind of creepy, actually. Okay, maybe not so creepy, but... Well, you know. At least we're safe in our vehicle. All right, what do we have in here? What's this? Okay, I see. That's a way out. And here we have another stop and swap crate. I feel like there's something else in here, though. Hey! Jiggy Tamper Switch! There we go. I wish LG would just tell us whether or not we found all of those, because honestly, I'm losing track of the ones that we found, if I'll be honest with you. Okay. Uh... What else do we have in here? Um, this will lower, right? Apparently it won't unless I activate it from the other side. That's, uh, good to know. At least these cops don't chase after you for having crate stored in your vehicle. It's a good thing. Okay. Okay, in this crate we have a beacon. It's more of an accessory than a useful weapon. Aha, uh -huh, there's another firewall over there, I see. Is it really a firewall? I don't know. Okay, here's another crate here for the taking. I certainly am hoping I found all of these, by the way. I mean, I honestly would hate to have to find out that I'm missing one. Not that it really matters. But still, I have a habit of grabbing everything. As you guys have clearly seen. Jiggies, trophies, notes. Not 
think there's anything underwater here of interest. At least from what I remember. <laughs> there is, however, another underwater tunnel over here. And I do recall there being another one as well. On the other side of this building. But for right now, what do we have in here? Okay, we got another firewall. For us to destroy. Oh, we got a switch here. What does this do? Ah, okay. It drains the water. So now we can get back in here with these. Can I just say, by the way, guys, that I just realized that this is a sewer? And with me having drained the water, I don't think that uh, this is a particular bad, uh, a good thing. Because poop and urine. Yeah, you guys pretty much get where I'm going with that. It's rather unpleasant the more I think about it. And uh, by the way, Banjo, when this is all over, you be sure to wash your feet, and Kazooie, you wash your feathers. Just uh, giving some advice here. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got another crate here. Fantastic. But I will say, I think I'm like stacking way too many of these crates at once. It's like I'm going grocery shopping at Home Depot. Oh! And constantly having to spill things. Grab these. Grab these shinies. They're so shiny. Look at them. They're, they're, they're so shiny. Hi, Ghostly Pig. How's it going? Oh, okay. So apparently the water rises again. Eventually. I never really noticed that before, if I'll be honest with you. Alright, can I, uh... Can I jump my way out of here? No, I can't. Well, I guess I'll just have to take the regular way out. I'll have to be sure to come back here later, though, when I have the game gulp. But I probably should have gotten that while basically exploring all of this showdown town, like right now. Oh my god, are you kidding me? As one of my friends slash associates from work always says, Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. If you're watching this, it's your personal shout out. I hope you enjoyed. Alright. Bring this. Back out. Grab the box, you're beginning the box at the top. I can't grab that one yet. I know which one you're talking about, but I can't grab that one because it's guarded by a ghostly pig. And unless I find a way to get the ghostly pig away from the crate, I'm not going to be able to grab that. I need the right tool for that. Fudge sakes, are you kidding me? I keep drop. Okay, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to go to Mumble now. I'm just going to go to Mumble now. Oh, by the way, uh, Slick Krillin, welcome to the stream. Move, please. Alright, let's see what we have in these crates. One. Two. Three. The one I left at the top of the sewer? That's the one I got. Yeah, I, I got that crate. I know which one you're talking about, but like I can even go back there and show you. Okay, so in these crates we have a disco ball, three large jets, large fuel, large ammo, laser, small jet, medium ammo, two sinkers, a torpedile, and four springs. Awesome. That's fantastic. Alright, so, um, Slick Krillin, let me show you. Oh, 
Move. I'm not gonna say it again. Move. Are you kidding me? Fudge you! Get the fudge out of here. I hate these cops. So angry, so triggered. I don't need that cutscene. Alright. Yeah, see, Krillin? That is the crate I'm referring to. That one is guarded by a ghostly pig. And unless I can find a way to get it to get the pig away from the crate, I can't do anything about it. I can't retrieve it. See? So until I have the right gear, there's literally nothing I can do. Alright, let's go in this tunnel now. No, it's okay, you're fine. You just didn't know. Or you maybe have forgotten. I mean, to be fair, I've, I've forgotten like some bits of this game myself, so you're not alone. Alright, let's see what we have here in this abandoned castle. Um. There's gotta be something else here. Like, what do we have here? Oh, what's this? Oh, that must be a switch for the laser wall. Or the firewall, rather. Um, is there anything else we have up here? I don't think so. But I'll have a look around just to be sure. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. Alright, um, let's go back to Mumbo. Because I don't want to be carrying around all these crates all day. Because I have a proper imbalance of them. Clearly, I have a proper imbalance. Alright. And one. And two. And, uh, three. Open up, Mumbo. In these crates, we have a grenade turret, four high grip wheels, large ammo, 16 armors, two foldy propellers, medium fuel, a freezy Z, two large propellers, and a large, bo a large box, and a large engine. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Wait a second, wasn't there a laser wall that I had to disable first? In order for me to get a crate? I think there was, actually. There is indeed. Here's a crate. At least I remembered to get this one. Okay, um... What do next? Quit crying, dude. You're fine. I just dropped the crate. There we go. Good catch. That's what I call a catch of the day. Get it? Catch of the day, of the day. because you know we we caught a crate underwater. That should be really impressive. Impressive. I'll shut up now. Okay. What do we have here? Underwater tunnels like this, by the way, they create such an unsettling atmosphere for some reason. Hey. Hey. 
Thank you, Zooey. Um, I don't think there's anything else here. Oh, this one is also guarded by a ghostly pig. Huh, surprisingly, these crates are extra heavy. Fun little trick you can do, by the way, guys. So if you stand on top of something and then lift your vehicle straight up, you can just get to places you couldn't before like that. It's a good way of cheating through the game. A little bit. Oh, this is a stop and swap item. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, one, two, and three. Excuse me. Okay, we have a large engine, a large fuel, two large propellers, two standard wings, a goldfish, a vacuum, and, a sp and three springs. Pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Alright. Back to the Jagosio. Actually. Since we can, we may as well do this now. So, um. We're just gonna grab this. And take it over to the plinth up in Uptown. Of course, we have no way to get to the plant. But regardless. Yeah, guys, I will say, it's not the amount of rage and salt I've been experiencing in this game. I don't really want to find fun in this game. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, the ball can't go in the water. So, what we have to do first is drain the water, and then quickly get it through the sewers before the water comes back. It's a good thing, by the way, that these game goals don't short circuit when they come in contact with water. Otherwise, it'd be bad, and um, I would imagine that LG would be angry and we'd have to make another one, and we'd have to go back and get it, go back and fetch it, and uh, it'd be a big time waster, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Right, so this unlocks World 5. Let's see how many acts we can uncover with the jiggies that we have. That's one. That's two. That is three. That is four. And that is five. Only five acts in there? Yeah. Usually you get six acts in each level, but in this last one before Spiral Mountain, you get only five acts. That's really fascinating. And I'm very surprised that we had enough jiggies in order to unlock all the acts. It's going to be such a pain going through all of that when I get to it. So be prepared for some moments of rage and salt and intense. You name it, intense trickery. Slick Krillin, thank you so much for following the stream. Welcome to the Gaming Zone. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. With your follow, we are now at 128 followers. 22 more to go before the Breath of the Wild Master Mode Unlock Livestream. Thank you so much. Let's go on to Act 6 of the Jagosium to wrap things up for the stream. We've got 5 missions and 3 Jinja missions. Let's do this.